Hello and welcome to Better Guns and Gear channel today. I will be conducting a tabletop gear review. Uh, I'll try and keep it as brief as possible. But today it's going to be on some shades. Uh, I know I did the Oakley, the Hallbrook Metals uh, shades. If you haven't seen it, uh, check my channel out. It's uh, pretty in-depth. The uh, audio quality wasn't that great because uh, my studio was not set up that well at the time. But uh, things are gradually improving, so thanks for bearing with me uh, to all my subscribers. Anyways, I digress. Today's video is going to be on the Under Armour, and it's called the Under Armour Assess. So I'll give you guys a 360 view of the box. Okay, moving right along. Uh, this is important to any of you guys see like an athlete just uh, Under Armour's motto here anyways um, I don't want to spend too much time on that but uh, just giving you guys a uh, 360 view of the box here's the SKU number if you guys are interested or girls as you could see on there the retail price I'm trying to get my camera to focus is $74.99 again it's the Under Armour Assist in satin black so I have a thing for satin black uh, finishes alright I'll show you guys what the contents it looks like in the box or what comes in a box and again this is not a unboxing review I rarely do unboxing reviews I typically like to uh, use the gear for a couple weeks to a couple months depending on what the gear is and then I do the review but here we go here's what's in the box it come with this really cool pouch it's white it's an Under Armour it's so cool that uh, I don't want to use it I actually use another sunglasses pouch because this thing is white and if it brushes up against anything it's it's just gonna get dirty so I don't use it. I keep this in my uh, dresser drawer. And uh, what else is in here? This comes with a, a little pamphlet, you know, and a registration card. Me personally, I prefer to register everything online. So as far as the contents in a box, that's what you guys and girls get. Um, now for the start of the show. Here they are. These are the Under Armour Assists. Pretty sleek. Um, very lightweight. But uh, it's it can't compare to the the Oakley to Hallbrook medals that I have. But um, I just kind of wanted a cheaper pair of glasses. You know, kind of a go-to if I just want to grab and go. I know I'm not going to be out that long. I'll grab these and go. But if I'm going to be out all day, I kind of defer, like to defer to my, uh, to my Oakleys, my Hallbrook medals. Anyways, let me give you guys a 360. As you can see right there, that's the nose bridge. That's the front of the glasses. Here's a view of the side of the glasses. Uh, it's a little dark. My lighting is not the best in here today. But Under Armour actually put a really cool... It's like a uh, metal logo, Under Armour logo, but it's pretty cool. Like I say, my lighting isn't the greatest today, so forgive me. But uh, that's a look at the side, that's a side profile of the glasses. Here's what they look like if you had them on your face. Um, and there's actually rubber on here, which kind of helps with... Uh, you know, helping the glasses stick to your face or, you know, grip to your face. Unfortunately, though, there is no rubber on here. You know, there's no unobtainium or anything to uh, help the glasses, you know, grip to your the side of your head a little better. But all in all, you know, the glasses, they stay on pretty well. Give you guys a close-up of the hinge mechanism. That's what the hinges look like. Um, again, everything on here is plastic besides the like metal logo but uh you know fit and finish and bill quality 
on these glasses are pretty good, you know. I have no complaints. Uh, I guess other than that, let's, uh, you know what, let's grab the scale. I get a lot of good feedback. Uh, people like to know how much things weigh, so let me grab my scale. Bear with me. Get this out of the way. Okay, here's my trusty scale. Glasses are pretty lightweight, so I always like to have lightweight things in my EDC rotation. So, we are actually looking at a overall weight of one ounce. So, you know, you don't get much lighter than that. Here's a pair of one ounce shades, so really nice. Like I said, they're really sleek and I tend to like this style frame the uh, Hallbrook and uh, you know this kind of like the Hallbrook or Wayfair type uh, design I like this style and finish of glasses all right uh, before wrapping this video up I know we're about six and a half minutes into this video I guess in closing I'd like to uh, cover a few pros and cons um, let's see so again just to hit the pros uh the glasses are very lightweight which is really great they grip the face really well you know um if i had my choice there would be some type of uh rubbery surface towards the back of the ear but you know all in all like i say the glasses do not slip so that's pretty much a non-issue that's more of a preference thing i guess uh, the price, you know, it come in at a really great price point, which was uh, $74.99, you know, which is not bad at all for a pair of, uh, you know, pretty uh, pretty superior and uh, name brand shade. So that's not that bad on price. Uh, one of the cons is, uh, or the biggest con for me is, is the nose bridge. It's not adjustable, you know, there is no adjustment, so it's kind of a what you see is what you get type deal. Everything is fixed, and that's kind of bad. It's bad from the perspective that um, you kind of limit the people that can wear the glasses. These glasses are kind of designed to fit the large to medium face. I really wouldn't recommend anyone with a uh, small face to... Uh, you know a smaller petite face to purchase these because um, again there's no adjustment you can as far as the hinges or the nose bridge so um, that's kind of my only detractor when it comes to this particular pair of shades but again it's you know for a budget it's not really a budget pair of shades but um, for a pair of shades that you know it's all in all like I say it's it's good I'll still give the shades two thumbs up I'd say it's a purchase, and uh, I guess one of the last cons about the shades is that um, it protect on three different levels of it have uh, three different levels of UV protection. So um, that's another plus. Not only are you wearing stylish glasses that look good, but you are getting UV protection. Alrighty, guys and girls, that's gonna wrap up my review for today on the Under Armour Assist. Again, these are pretty cool glasses. I give them two thumbs up. I would call them a purchase. If you're in a market for a pair of cool, relatively inexpensive, uh, you know, it's not that expensive. So, uh, shade. So, that's my review. Thank you guys and girls for tuning in today. Better Guns and Gear signing out. Oh, by the way, uh, thank you for watching my video today. And uh, please, if you found the video useful, please give a thumbs up. And, uh, Consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps the channel. Better Guns and Gear signing out. Thank you. God bless the USA.